My name is Chawanzi. I'm Amy. My name is Azari Gonzalez. My name is Akaya Brown. And I'm on the diocesan. Diocesan. The diocesan. And I am from the Diocesan Youth Council. Hi, I'm Kieran Charwich from the Diocesan Youth Council. This past year has been a whirlwind of change throughout the world, especially in this country. COVID-19 has killed over 220,000 people in the United States alone, and one of the biggest side effects is that it has drawn people apart, including friends, schools, and workplaces, and as you all know, church. And I think the church's number one priority should be safety, obviously, but also maintaining connections and maintaining these interactions, seeing as these are very trying times on people's mental health. I understand that we are living in stressful times right now. From COVID-19 to college admissions, there is plenty of reason to be stressed and concerned for our world right now. Therefore, it is essential to try to stand together to support one another in faith through this time. Hi, I'm Owen, member of Diocesan Youth Council, and I support Black Lives Matter. And I support Black Lives Matter. And I support Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a movement, and we protest against police brutality and systematic racism. Police brutality and systematic racism has caused deaths all around the world, like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Tony McDade, and thousands of others because of the color of their skin. Every human being has a right to live and live happily no matter what race they are and I believe that's something that we should fight for. I think it is very important as the body of Christ to speak up on injustice whenever we see, whenever we're encountered with it. Nobody should be getting killed for their race, gender, or sexual orientation, especially at the end of the place. And no matter what color your skin is or what race you are, we all deserve to be equal and have equal rights and live freely and happily in our community. I have been personally reflecting on the past events that happened this summer, especially pertaining to the Black Lives Matter movement. And out of that, I have come to have a hope that we have more conversation. Conversations that lead to progress and change. I feel like in these past six or seven months, a lot of, a lot of injustices and wrongs have come to light within our greater community. And personally, I would like to see the church be at the forefront, be a leader in some progress and change being made about those injustices and wrongs. My hope for the future of our church is that we'll continue to grow and change with the times so that modern ideas are incorporated into church teachings and so that we can be as inclusive and loving as possible to all facets of our society. Jesus didn't die for one race. He died for the human race and it's very important for us as Christians to fight for all lives. We definitely need unity and everybody should feel welcomed in the Lord's presence. We need to come together as a group in order to fight for what's right and make the changes we need in this world. Things need to change and I believe we should fight for that change. There is plenty reason to be stressed and concerned for our world right now. Now I'm not telling you to ignore what's happening right now but I suggest to take a step back sometimes and remember that there are people who love and care for you, friends, family, and God. Their love will embrace you through thick and thin.